For the fuselage, the length is 3.82 meter and the biggest diameter is 1 meter. The 1 meter diameter is selected to fit both payload dimensions and after fuselage aerodynamic calculations, the shear hack shape was selected. It gives less physical stroke in comparison to the cone cylinder shape and this shape then optimized with an X-shaped nose cone to spread the propulsion system stress during the takeoff. And the design is a combination of monocoque and semi-monocoque structure, which are lightweight but still retaining strength due to the stress skin. Uh, next slide, please. The fuselage structure will be manufactured in three different parts, and the nose cone is monocoque structure, and the fully closed bulkhead in the nose cone area is multifunctional, other than engine support it is also as a firewall to prevent the engine from overheating the medical payload during the flight the mid body of the fuselage is a semi monocoque structure a stronger structure is required to support the main wings and for the payload system the tail cone is designed using a monocoque structure the same as nose cone but it is using hollow shaped bulkhead to support the empennad structure and next slide please. Uh, the skin is made of composite material with 2 millimeter thickness. The graph on the right shows the stress skin based on the load distribution calculation. The stress due to the fuselage structure itself is 2.9 megapascal. However, running the simulation on the skin of the fuselage, the, the highest stress that skin can take is 3.2 megapascal at the same point. Next slide. Uh, for the bulkhead, the thickness is 10 millimeter and it made of aluminium. The simulation show it the bulkhead can take up to 27 megapascal of load. Therefore, the bulkhead can take excess stress from the skin. For the launch run, the iteration shows that the minimum diameter is 5.3 centimeter to keep the mid frame together and for the joining fuselage skin and the wings, epoxy adhesive will be used and refetting system will be used for the join of the aluminium for the internal structures. At this point, bulkhead and laundron optimization are ongoing with the aim to reduce the internal structure weight but still providing the same strength. Uh, now I pass this to Tom for the main wings. Thank you.